Let's just take a look at our nation's tax history. I teach a lot of tax classes, and what people don't realize when they come to the class is they don't realize the uh, aggressive nature in our tax history. Right? People don't realize that taxes were as high as 94% for the, for the nation's top earners. There's actually a, a story that Ronald Reagan gives in his biography that he could only make two films in any given year during the uh, 1944 era, roughly, because when he completed two films, that pushed him all the way up to roughly the 94% bracket. And if he, if he completed a third film and was paid out on that third film, all the proceeds would be taxed at roughly 94%. But he also lived in the state of California, and the state of California, as we know, has a, a more aggressive, higher tax rate than, than most other states. So we talked about how he could potentially not make any money from a third film because the second film would push him up to the highest bracket. So we always talk about how we'd only do two films during that era. We also see it, we saw tax rates being very aggressive all the way up until the 80s. Uh, Social Security, for example, used to be tax-free for retirees or for those that were on Social Security. Legislation was actually put into place in the 80s that would tax up to 50% of someone's Social Security uh, income benefits. And that all changed in, I think, 1994, early, early 1990s. They actually moved that all the way up to 85% of taxing someone's Social Security benefits. And so we can see over time that taxes were aggressive all the way up to about the early 80s. They came down a little bit, but we can, and, and, and from what I'm seeing, is they're becoming more aggressive. And I believe that they will continue to become more aggressive um, because projections right now, uh, we reference a lot of charts in our classes. Our deficits are becoming very close to where they were during World War II. World War II had the highest deficits. I don't know where they are at now, I'll have to take a look, but uh, we're getting very close to those World War II levels. And that's why taxes were as high as 90, 94% for those uh, highest income earners. But a lot of individuals that, that come to me or they hear me speak in my classes, they say, well, Adam, that's, that's Ronald Reagan. Those are the highest income earners. But in reality, if you look back at just 1980, the, if you made $45,800 filing jointly, so if a husband and a wife made $45,800 or a dollar on top of that, you were taxed at 49%. 49%, that's almost half, that's almost half of every dollar coming in above, those, above 45,800. You also have to take into consideration inflation, but, but do the math, that's not, not a long way off. So I see taxes, even in the 80s, of almost double of where they are today.